Brendan also uploaded it as a separate clip on his social media. If you're looking for, or if you're trying to gauge how sincere this whole thing was, they made a clip about it in 0.0.6 seconds with fucking subtitles and all and put it on fucking social media with all the cuts needed. So is it sincere? Does it come from a real place? Who knows? But regardless, I kind of, I find it kind of depressing in a way. Let's play the clip. He says, and I can't unfeel that. Oof. Yeah, and yesterday, the, the thing with T, it's not, you know, there's some crazy dads out there like, oh, my kid's going to play for the Padres or, you know, the Cardinals. But fuck all that. I, I, it has nothing to do with that. I, that, I don't even think about that stuff. Yes, you do. Instant lie. Instant lie. Instant lie. In a moment of sincerity, he still finds a way to lie. There's clips of him talking about how much money baseball players make. Then soon after, Tiger suddenly starts playing baseball. Before that, he was trying to get him into football, jiu-jitsu. I think he was doing jiu-jitsu. If you guys remember, wasn't he doing jiu-jitsu? He was talking about his son being jiu-jitsu. He's a phenom. He's subbing fucking 15-year-olds and shit, even though he's five. He's subbing fucking 18-year-olds. Then suddenly, he gets fucking... When that kid... Who's that kid? That Japanese kid. When that Jap I feel like when that Japanese kid got that contract, what's his name? Shubui, Shubai, the one that was that was involved in the gambling drama. I don't watch baseball, so don't don't fucking kill me here. If it, is it Shoei, Shoni, something like that? That's it, yeah. Shohi Otani. Thank you for the chat. Do you remember when that baseball baseballer got that contract? I think it was like seven hundred mil or something stupid. Brennan couldn't shut up about it. He just kept going on and on and on about this guy and his contract. And soon after, Tiger picks up a baseball. It's no problem. I don't care. We don't care. No one fucking cares why you got your kid into baseball. We don't care. But stop. But stop with the lies. Stop with the, I just want to help my kid just like, as long as he's having fun. You're a helicopter parent. Just embrace it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because the odds of any of these kids on that team yesterday, and they're all the best kids in the Valley, the chance of any of them going pro is less than 1%. So much luck goes into it. There's, who knows where they're going to yeah. be in five years, six years. What, what do you say, um, NJ? It's pronounced Shomai. Shomai. It's not, it's, it's not pronounced Shohi. It's pronounced Shomai. Is that how you pronounce it? Or are you laughing? Or are you, or are you, or are you trolling me? Or are you trolling, trolling me? Is it Shomai? Is it Shumai or Shomai? <laughs> Shumei <laughs> Shumei No you may Shumei You may Is that racist if I do that Shumei Shumei Shoe nice <laughs> There's yeah. so much that goes into it yeah. <laughs> I know this More than a lot of the public out there It's It's in It's damn near impossible to go pro Why do you know that Why do you know how impossible it is to go pro Because you failed Or because he's saying that Because he thinks he's succeeded why did he say that exact word? Is he saying that because he failed or because he succeeded? I don't care about any of that, but you have to realize last summer, T didn't touch a baseball. He's never played baseball. He's never played baseball. He's never touched a fucking baseball bat. This is a moment of sincerity and realness. I think this was him being... I think someone else told him this. My theory. Up below the streets. <laughs> That's a great name. Big up below the streets. <laughs> well gone below the streets. Thank you. Appreciate you. Great fucking name. Um, below the belt? Nah, below these streets. My streets, I mean my dick. Anyway, um I think someone told him this. My theory. I think he was going on a bit too much about money, contracts, pushing his kid too much. And somebody had to give him some perspective. Hey. Your kid just picked up baseball. Your kid never played this sport a year ago. And look at what he's doing now. I think he gave him some perspective. Like, hey, relax, man. He's having fun. He's, he's, doing, he's doing good. He's enjoying himself. My theory. He goes, Dad, I want to play baseball. I want to make the team. So I look up in our local area. I find out they have tryouts at this local little league. I don't know anything about it. I, we drive past it. Even driving past it, I didn't recognize it. And uh, so I look it up. I see tryouts. I go, bud, tryouts is two months away. And these kids were probably pretty good. 
And he goes, okay, can you help me? I go, yep, I can help you. <laughs> His pursuit of happiness our storyline, man. Honestly, man, why does everything sound like a movie to him? Or when he describes it? This pursuit of happiness talk our oh, shit. Can you help me? Sure, buddy. I can help you. Yay, thanks, dad. And it's got the shot of them walking to the fucking field with him with the baseball of his of his hand, you know, and his and his kid throwing the ball in the air as they as they walk off into the fucking pit walk off into the picture. <laughs> it's him throwing the balls, his kid in the rain. He's crying, I can't do it, dad, I can't do it. Come on, son. A sharp never gives up. A sharp never fails. A sharp always gets up. And he stands up and he picks his butt up again and duh <laughs> That's it, son, in the rain. That's it, boy. You go. And he's running around the fucking field. <laughs> running around. And he slides in and he hugs him. Ah, ah. America. Pick up a son. Why can't he just look at Callan when he talks? Is he talking to Snaz and Chen? Or the camera? <laughs> Sorry, I'm sucking myself off there a bit. Big up, it's Assad. Appreciate you, brother. Um, I'm glad you're observing the stuff that I observe. I'm glad you're observing the stuff I observe. I'm glad you mentioned that actually, because I forgot to mention this in another stream. I've noticed this also. Brendan does tend to like talk at Sainaz and fucking chin more. But have you noticed he always does this whenever it's a topic that could be a sneak this to Brian Callan? This is my theory. It's an involuntary thing that he does because he knows he's talking about Brian a little bit. Because if he's talking about his son, how much he loves his son, he thinks Brian's not a good dad because he's always touring. You know? Like, so it's like, uh, automatic, like, I mean, <laughs> that's what I think is happening. That's, again, I could be wrong. I could be off base here. But I think he kind of, like, it's an involuntary thing he does because he doesn't want to, like, look at the person he's talking about. You know? It's kind of like people get caught, like, in a shop stealing. They're like, oh, my God, me? I would never, I would never steal. Like, always, it's over... It's like, I mean, it's almost like that kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> so I think that's why he does that. But I could be wrong. Big up as hard as he's. So remember, I canceled my Europe tour. Mm. I cancel everything. I go, but. You canceled your European tour and you canceled everything because you weren't selling tickets. I really don't know why this is even an issue. There's no shame in not being able to sell tickets. Jennifer Lopez can't sell tickets. Black Keys can't sell tickets. Um, Santi Gold couldn't sell tickets. Everyone's struggling to sell tickets in some way, shape, or form. The world has changed nowadays. You can't just sell tickets for any show. You have to be a pretty big act, have a pretty decent following to put on a show that people are going to be willing to pay for and come out to. So everyone's finding it hard. You could have even blamed on COVID and be like, you know what? You know how it was, man. Post COVID, everything kind of fucked up. It's hard to tour now. Everywhere's asking for higher minimums because they're taking more of a risk. Whatever. But to just lie and say that you cancelled your tour to be with your son is insulting because this guy went on tour when his wife had a miscarriage. This is documented stuff. He didn't go back. He didn't even try to make an attempt to go back. He just stayed on tour in a jacuzzi and shit with his boys while his wife was having a miscarriage posting pictures by herself in the fucking hospital. So if you're such a great dad, why didn't you run back to be with your wife when she was having a miscarriage? Okay, because you were touring, which is fine as well. Everyone's going to, whatever you got to do, but it's just the lies. It's just unnecessary. But here's the thing. I'm down to do this. If you commit for the summer, your buddies are going to be in summer camps. They're going to be at the ocean. Then we go on vacations. But if you want to play baseball, we're not doing any of that. Again, he wants to play baseball. And Brian then thinks the right way to go about it is to tell him that he can't have a summer if he wants to learn how to play it. He wants to play. He doesn't want to be pro. He didn't open the broadsheets and see that, what's his name? Show Yotani got a fucking big mega deal, but big mega bucks deal. He wasn't on ESPN 
reading about the contract lengths. He just saw some kids playing baseball and said, oh, I want to do that. And Brendan automatically thought, oh yeah, you have to commit to us. I was like, what? Isn't that like, again, it's no problem. He's acting like he's just a great dad helping out his kid, but he's actually a show, whatever. The culture war fighter and the guy who really cares about his kid. Also, she may are Japanese dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I thought about? Big up and you know what I thought about? What's a Japanese cookie? A cookie with fucking wasabi on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> what's a Japanese what's a Japanese sandwich bread with Japanese mayo on top of it <laughs> that's a Brendan level joke oh god sorry big up NJ Ranger man let's get NJ energy tablets oh god oh Oh yeah, big up Ruben Rivera. Big up Ruben Rivera. Big up my nigga. Ah ah. Big up my nigga. Ah ah. Goodbye auto body shop gear. Hello baseball jerseys. Oh my god. Is it any coincidence that he's talking about his son's baseball and in the one time he comes on the show dressed like a baseball dad? Was this premeditated? Was this a premeditated soy boy emotional tearjerker thing? Did he work on this at home? Oh my god. Was this premeditated? No way. Because I can't remember the last time he's worn baseball gear. He's never worn a jersey since he's been fucking gearhead guy. <sighs> that's insane big up Ruben Rivera fucking hell what a great observation he's wearing baseball gear again and he's got a regular baseball hat on doesn't have like a garage shop thing or anything holy shit Brendan bro this guy this, even when you're talking about your son you can't even be authentic and real it's all some calculated fucking. <sighs> I don't want to think that's true, but you can't unsee it now, innit? When is he? We watch a lot of streams on it. We watch a lot of these shows live now. We fucking do watch alongs. Like, I'm wasting my time doing this shit. I can't remember the last time he wore a jersey. He's always wearing car merch. Now, all of a sudden, he's crying about his kid. Ta da! Baseball jerseys are back. Or were the Padres in the news or something? I don't watch baseball, so forgive me. Were the Padres in the news or something? Did they win something? Did one of their players get arrested? What happened? Because that's what sometimes he likes to do as well. When, the, when something's in the news, he suddenly like jumps on it. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> so what we're going to do, you and I are going to train five to six days a week. Nothing crazy, but you're gonna learn the game of baseball. I'm gonna get some help, and then you and I are. Actually, actually, no, I forgot. I forgot. I'm not gonna reveal the name, but somebody told me in the DMs. Actually, I, I remember this now. It's not gonna reveal the name, but somebody told me in the DMs that allegedly Brendan's fallen out with some garage. They're not on good terms anymore because Brendan kept asking for free shit, which is insane, right? Imagine Brendan asking for free shit. Like. Only Brenda could fuck up a new, like, whatever. So, allegedly, he's not friends with these people anymore. Or, they're, you know, they're not on good terms. Could it be about that? 
Maybe he's like now not wearing it because they're not cool anymore. Maybe. Maybe it's not the whole baseball crying thing. He's kid. <sighs> Big up below the, the streets. I wish he would brought a soda straw hat and a foam finger and this would have been the funniest oh, no, skit all time. He dressed up for the speech. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, was that a baseball drinking hat? Yeah, I remember that. that those, those things are fucking dead. If Whenever I think about America, I think of these. When I think about my image of Americans, I think of this. You know, that, that's what I think of. Hey, dudes, baseball. You know? <laughs> Big up, Bella. <laughs> Baba doesn't talk about Boston because Boston doesn't fold chicks. Big up from South Africa. <coughs> I've said this before and I didn't want to like say it because it's sad to say with kids. Right? But I've said it before to you guys in the stream. I've got the feeling the reason why Brendan doesn't talk about that other kid, Boston, and I think what you call it, below these streets made a good point about it. I think as well, he's shown no interest in sports. None. Now, infer what you want on that. It's a child, so don't go too quickly. But I think that kid has shown no interest in sports. He's probably tried to throw a ball at him, whatever. He's tried to push it in his face. He just hasn't taken to it. He probably stays with his mum most of the time. And Brendan, because he's such a fucking Neanderthal, he's like, that kid doesn't exist. <laughs> you simply do not matter. <laughs> that kid simply does not matter because it doesn't want to throw a baseball or play with balls. That's my theory. So big up everyone else for noticing it. Big up everyone else for noticing the same thing that I noticed. <laughs> it's so odd, honestly. Like, I don't know about you, but isn't it, I, I've grown up with siblings that we all like sports, so it's probably different. But I think it's it's way more fun when like you have like super contrasting personalities. It's like that meme of like the sorority um, cheerleader girl and the emo and the emo girl and their sisters, right? One's golf, one's like a cheerleader. That's way more fun at a family function and like just having sisters like that. That you 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 hate what they're into, but they're your brother, so you love. Yeah, I mean, it's just like that's way more fun. Then having like everybody being a fucking bro and a chad. That's a bit lame. It's not who wants that in a household? It's way more fun when you're like everyone's a bit different, you know? But Brendan wants all his kids to be like fucking, you know, doing drills in the fucking garden. Do you know what I mean? Running fucking routes. Is it routes, right? Routes. Running routes in the garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Fucking bless Boston, man. Bless Boston. Bless Boston. You still matter, Boston. We we stand with you. You still fucking matter. Even if you don't, even if you can't throw a ball. You're going to work, dude. We're running sprints. You're waking up early. You're going to eat right. And we're going to get after it. He was like, this kid is nine years old. All right, dad, let's do it. This is what he wanted to do. I commit to him for that summer. He made the team. He made the team. The kid is nine years old. Allegedly, judging from what I read on the Fire in the Kids subreddit, baseball tryouts for kids don't really matter anyone can do it anyone can play for a team allegedly it's not like a big deal i don't know how that works but allegedly it's not that he's making it seem like he kids on the pro team he's not but again he's nine years old the first two days was a nightmare i'm like ah oh, man it's tough he hasn't played baseball and they started to get the hang of it they started to get the hang of it then they he made the team and then that short amount of time, then he's MVP of the team. I'm like, all right, well, he's having fun, you know, but he's wild, whatever. Again, and, it doesn't matter because it's just a fun team. And then here we are now. Hasn't picked, didn't pick up a bat. It'll be one year, I think, uh, next week. We'll be one year him playing baseball. Now he, you know, he's on that all-star travel team. He's mm -hmm. one of the top kids in the district. Yep. You know, from that to that. So when I say I'm crying, it's not because he threw a no-hitter and, he, you know, he, had, he went three for four against these studs. None of that. Before the game, he goes, Dad, uh, he goes, um, he goes, he loves Shake Shack. He goes, Dad, can we go to Shake Shack? By the way, comedy podcast. This kid is nine years old. Comedy podcast. This kid is nine years old. Comedy podcast. This kid is nine years old. If I pitch well, and I go, bud, bud, 
I don't care if you pitch well. That's what you don't understand. I don't care. If no, 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 you care. He, if he's saying that, you care. He knows how you are when he doesn't pitch well. You probably don't talk to him on the way home. Kids are a reflection of what you say. You probably don't talk to him on the way home when he doesn't play well. So that's what he's saying to you. Dad, can we get five guys on the way home? Daddy, can I get a little drink, drinky drink on the way home, please? Daddy, can I get a glass of water, please? Because when that kid doesn't throw well, mm, you probably get stuff thrown at him. If you get five hits, five home runs, no hitters, I just want you to have fun. And most of all, I want you to out hustle all these fucking kids. Mm -hmm. Big up Assad l laughing at this. You know what makes me laugh when I think about this? When somebody said on stream that time, when I was doing the whole analysis of. Um, who's, who's, hey, big up Assad. <laughs> uh, Adiz, Adizi. Can we go? <laughs> Big up and easy. Well, well gone, well gone. Long time, long time. Um, you know what I was thinking about now? Somebody on stream once, when I was doing that whole breakdown of um, when they cried that time when uh, Chris Aaliyah got cancelled. Somebody was like, it's way funnier when you think about it. Well, no, somebody said on stream, on the chat, it's way funny when you see Brennan crying and you imagine him crying about his own career. And I was like, oh yeah. He's not sobbing because his friend got exposed for being a diddler and he's just heartbroken about what he's going to do to him. He's crying about how it looks on him. He's crying about his self. He's realizing in that moment, oh shit, this is the end. Like he's witnessing it in real time, but he's more concerned about what he's going to do to him than what his friend's going through. So in this situation, it's mostly think about it through his eyes. He's like, fuck. <laughs> He's thinking about himself. Like, imagine if, I, imagine if I had me as a dad and I'm a beast of a dad. I could have been the star. I could have been playing for the Buffalo Bills. I could have been playing for the fucking Miami Dolphins. I could have been fucking Tom Brady. Like, imagine if I had me as a dad. Imagine what I could have done. Like, he doesn't know how lucky he is. I'm amazing. If, I had, if only I had this type of support. When I was doing comedy, I could have been so much bigger. I could have been Kevin Hart. <laughs> you know? Like, think about it. Like, he's not even crying, like, why you think he's crying. That's the wild thing about this. I don't care if you fucking go five for five, but if you have a bad attitude and you don't... Out yeah, big up Eddie D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, Callan's not trying to laugh. I think Callan's genuinely confused. Callan doesn't really care about his kids anyway, number one. Let's be honest. He doesn't care about his kids, which is okay, but he doesn't care about his kids. So he's confused why this is happening because he also knows Brendan too. He's like, um, I've been with you when you've like turned your phone upside down when your wife calls. Like, now you're crying. Like, he, he, like cool. But he's also super like surprised. Like, what? It's like when your friend starts crying without you knowing why, you know? Because this is like, he's like, why is he crying? Like, you don't know what to do. Should you hug them? Like, let them just bar it out? He's a bit confused. <laughs> so that's what the mixture was going on there. I work everybody, then I'm upset. Mm. All I care is you represent the shop family on your back. You fucking outwork every kid out here. And I don't care what. Why don't him to have fun? Why does he have to outwork everybody? Why can't he just have fun? I'm still confused about this. I don't know. I don't know if this is an American thing, whether or not you guys have this in you. It's like if you play sports, you have to make it. This only really applies to like where I grew up, in like poor neighborhoods. In poor neighborhoods, people see sports as a way out. But even then, your parents don't encourage you. Our parents really didn't encourage us to play sports. They want us. To, they want you to, to do education. No African or immigrant family or poor family is ever going to encourage you to do sports. They're going to tell you to go to school. So you do your you do it yourself. It's your own motivation. You take yourself to trials, whatever. So I don't get the whole like go and work. Hard. It's like just let him have fun. But maybe I'm, I don't know because I don't have. A, maybe I'm I'm talking about this from an un, uninformed point of view. But I find the whole like work hard when you're under ten and you're playing a sport odd because when you're under ten, you just play all sports for fun, just for the shits and giggles. Then if you show an aptitude for it could cool continue on but at that age it should all be just about hanging out with your kids because with your friends because soon 
it'll get quite bored it'll get quite tedious when you start to play professionally because they don't make it fun anymore so you should be trying to enjoy it while it's fun because when you turn 13 it's going to turn into a fucking proper thing and they're going to make you know it's like life or death and it's going to not be fun anymore so this whole like work hard work hard thing is odd because and also he shouldn't say that because brendan prides himself on being the workout guy he doesn't work out hard but he says he does and he, he didn't work out for him sports isn't about working out it's just it's more than that it's not just about you running a lot and then you're gonna make it it's talent luck hard work communication networking timing all these things kind of play into how you're gonna make it so just focusing on the hard work is a little bit simplistic and maybe sets your kids up for disappointment to be honest the rest whatever happens now i know saying that if he just busts his ass out there with his athletic abilities, he's gonna do pretty fucking well. Mm. So I don't need to tell him, make sure your elbow's up, make sure this, none of that. Just try your hardest and we're good, dude. And you know what's funny too? Big up, um, big up uh, Killer Season 13. A little too young for that type of commitment. That's how you end up hating a sport. Exactly. And let's also think about it. I didn't clip it, but do you remember the stream I did that time where Brendan was talking about having an argument with his kid? Do you remember? Again, it's him oversharing, him being too fucking out there. But he said he had some argument with Tiger that involved Tiger being a bit snappy back with him about the baseball thing and having an attitude. And it seemed like Tiger said something along the lines of, oh, he doesn't want to play. But he was making it... S how Brendan told the story, you could tell that maybe Tiger was getting fed up of, of like, you know, how they were pushing him. And I said in the stream, bro, you're going to make this kid hate baseball. The, I don't know about you guys, but from my experience, kids that had parents that pushed them too hard in sports, what usually happened, especially if they were like the, a boy's boy, they just don't play sports anymore. I know so many people like that. Their parents pushed them to play sports, try to live their dreams through their kid. And guess what? The kid that was good at everything, he doesn't do a single sport. They didn't even watch it. That's how much he got turned off by it. So be careful with the pushing because he might turn, he might turn into a gamer that Brendan hates. He might turn into a live streamer that doesn't fuck chicks. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful how much you push this kid. So the, there's games where he has bad games. We still go out to eat because they had a positive attitude. He hustled his ass off. Mm -hmm. But as long as you try your hardest and you bust your ass, and I don't tell him this, but with your talent and your skill set, dude, you can go pretty fucking far. That's yeah, all. You do tell him that. Come on, you don't lie. Of course you tell him that. Of course you, t you tell him that all the time. You tell him all that all the time. Of course you tell him that. All I need, and yesterday he did that. He ran everywhere, man. Sweating after the game. No hitter. No hitter. You made some nice cry. And he he and he came up to me and goes, "Dad, I'm starting pitcher." In my head, I went, Assad. Assad, I think we got our answer, mate. You said, "Why is he always staring at Chin and Sinez? I think we got our answer, mate. I think we have our answer. I think we have our answer. One more time. You wondering why he keeps staring at her? We got our answer. You made some nice cry. And he he and he came up to me and goes, Dad, I'm starting pitcher. In my head, I went, oh, fuck. Because the kids are really good. And yeah. Me and him haven't worked out. Because usually it's a repetition. He has to, you know, he, 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 he does, he's never been taught. Wow. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. I'm going to point and laugh at these cunts until the end, man. Honestly, they're all fucking donuts. It's so fun. It's so fucking fun. Fuck them all. It's so hilarious. These guys are so ridiculous. Why is she crying? Like, you barely know this guy. You barely know this guy. Do you really think? Do you really think? Do you really think? Please, listen to me clearly. Do you really think Brendan Schaub's wife would let Sanaz around their family? Do you think Brendan Schaub's wife would let Sanaz hang around with Brendan alone? Do you think a Hispanic, Latina woman like that would let Sanaz... Like, why are you even crying? As if, like, you know these people. Come on, man. Do yourself a favour. Come on, you don't know these people, bro. That's her and can't talk. By the way, the size of her hands, the size of those 
fucking meat bashers. Oof. She could throw a ball in it. She could definitely throw a ball. Look at that. She covers her entire look. She's got some hands on her, bro. She might maybe she's got like she's from a family of handballers or something back in Persia. No hitter. No hitter. You made Sanaz cry. And he, he and he came up to me and goes, Dad, I'm starting pitcher. In my head I went, Oh, oh fuck. Because the kids are really good and yeah. me and him haven't worked out because usually it's a repetition thing he has to Again, maybe I'm emotion. Maybe I don't have emotions. I, I'm not the most sensitive guy in the world. I don't cry. I think all this stuff is gay. But why the fuck is she crying? Why the fuck is that woman crying? Performative. But to be fair to her, she did get her MacBook before Chin. <laughs> she did get her MacBook Pro before Chin. So maybe if Chin did cry a bit, maybe if he lowered those glasses down, he might get a MacBook too. You know, he he, he he's never been taught. Pressure. He's never been taught to pitch, dude. He has no professional training in pitching. There's a lot that goes into pitching. Oh yeah. He's nine years old. He doesn't need professional training to pitch, surely. Come on. He's playing against nine year olds. Come on. Come on. Bro, and I have a I, I'll post a picture of him. He's in his outfit and I got him these cleats. You know, he doesn't really care about the cleats. You do. He doesn't care about the cleats. You do. Why did you get him the cleats? You got him what? Odell Beckham cleats. What do you get him? He doesn't care about the cleats. What do you get him? Like Jordan 4 cleats. Air Max 90 cleats. He doesn't care about the cleats. But you do. He basically looks like Brendan. <laughs> if Brendan wants to play baseball, he basically makes him like a little mini-me. Little mohawk, the same hat. I do. And I wrote his name on him. It's tough. It's tough. Mm. It's tough. Why? Is he dead? <laughs> is he dead <laughs> he, did he die on the baseball pitch or something huh? <laughs> he put it all out there did he lay like what but I was just looking I'm like holy fuck dude look at this little dude man Yeah. you know what as well to be fair to me I know I'm being a bit callous about this and a little bit cold hearted if he wouldn't have cried about Chris this is okay. If you wouldn't have cried about Chris Lee being exposed for liking underage girls, allegedly, this would be okay. If he didn't cry about that, this would be okay. But nigga, you sat there and cried about Chris Lee being a PDF and now you're crying about this. I'm sorry, but your cries don't matter anymore. Where is your fucking... Where is it? Where's your fucking scale with the crying? Where? Where does it start and end? Doesn't cry when you get a Ferrari, even though you're a car guy. Don't cry when you get a Porsche GTRS. Don't cry when you get a new truck. But cry when Chris gets exposed as a PDF, and then cries when your base when your kid plays baseball. And then does this thing, you know? It's kids, bro. It's there's nothing that gets you more. And for those of you out there that don't have kids, dude. I've had, I could die tomorrow. I've had. You know what I'm thinking. You know what I want to say, but I'm not, I don't get, I don't want to get demonetized, but you know what I want to say. You know what I want to say. One more time. I don't have kids, dude. I've had, I could die tomorrow. You know what I want to say. I've had a great fucking life. I've had, I'm a cat. I've had nine lives career-wise. You mean you're a white man living in the modern world? You're a white man in the 21st century? Huh? Huh?
you're a white man as as denim tears says living in a uh, america <laughs> i liked this baba cry because of the long pause but the delia interrupting cry it's still number one for me clean chip cry honorable mention dot lmk diff opinions <laughs> That's that's the one where like I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be controversial. I'm gonna say the I'm gonna say the Theo leaving. That cry is better because he does actually cry. He's holding it in and he's glancing over at Theo, almost looking at his like future earning power leaving the door. I I, I think I prefer that one better. Because he's he's holding it in and he just keeps glancing over at Theo like How long have you been doing this for, man? Yeah. Seven years. What? <laughs> that's actually better I think I think so because he holds it in when he's full blown crying it's like oh fucking hell man hurry up get it over and done with isn't it but when it's like oh, hmm, you're gonna leave me okay and your career's gonna go boom and I'm gonna go boom you know <laughs> he's like really sad <laughs> but yeah big up big up Assad but that Delia one has to be it has to be it bro if I'm not mistaken, the Dalia one, people forget this as well because of how much time has passed. But I swear that the, the Dalia crying thing happened on a day. Dalia gets exposed for being a PDF. Again, this is my controversial opinion here. Do I think Dalia is guilty of the things that the girl says? Yes. Do I think a lot of it has been exaggerated? Yeah. But would it be enough for you to be like, oh, this guy is a bit weird and creepy? Of course. Would it be enough for you to cry on camera? I don't think so. I swear to God, because if you're his friends, you know what he's like behind the scenes. But toxic friendship opinion. If you're his friend, you don't talk about it. You don't bring attention to it. If that's your boy, you hold him down. Yes, I know it's PDF stuff. I know. But if that's really your friend, you don't get on camera and, and, and fucking... Do we cry for clicks and views? You shut your fucking mouth. You let him deal with it. How you gonna deal with it? That's your friend. You hold him down. Even if you don't like it, you shut up. They go on camera on the same day. I can't talk. I can't talk. He's not your friend. What the fuck you doing? No honor. No honor. No honor. And then it was. And then Brendan. I thought we were gonna fight. I thought we were gonna stand together. Bro, you changed the podcast, your name of your podcast, and Chuck Brandon Brian off when you got exposed of raping someone allegedly. That's your boy. Horrible friends, all awful, awful people. I played football and it, uh, it was such a good time. I was in the UFC. Oh my god, the things I did—it was so cool. Stand up? Are you joking, <laughs> bro? Big up the mass. Yo, big up the mass. One nine seven. I didn't even. That's a great point. Even Chris didn't cry as much as that. Is even Chris, the one whose career was actually ruined forever in the commercial, you know, mainstream way. Even he didn't cry as much as Brendan did. All bogey coming out of his nose. Holding the camera, man. Even Chris didn't cry that. Chris couldn't even cry when he got on his own camera. He's like, yeah, you know, I just like fucking too much, I guess. I just like to fuck, you know. I can't help it. Right? Just a white guy, you know. Average looks, decent height, funny. Girls just want to fuck me, and I want to fuck them. So, if they're over age or underage, you know, just I just fuck them. Yeah, I know I've got a kid and I've got a wife, and you know, but I just can't stop fucking. And sometimes, you know, you might fuck a fifteen-year-old, but you know, have you seen fifteen-year-olds these days? Like, I mean, I didn't know Snapchat could be recorded. He didn't even cry in his own apology video. And Brendan's here crying. Look at me, dude. Oh my God. Some of the best times ever. I'm so lucky. I've done cool shit. I've done cool shit with this guy. Doesn't even cry for Brian, who gave him a career as well. Brian gives you a... <laughs> By the way, look at Brian. <laughs> Brian's got... Brian's got a... Uh, uh, what's his name thing? Um, he got... <laughs> Callum's just sitting there like... What? Kellen doesn't understand. <laughs> Kellen doesn't get it at all. He's like, what? 
You feel for your kids. Shit. I could never. <laughs> One more time. That's such a funny moment. Oh, it's meant to be a comedy podcast, bro. Comedy podcast. What the fuck is this, bro? Man's crying because his kid can throw a ball, you know. What? Also, doesn't this take away from... <laughs> Look at this idiot. What's he doing? 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 <laughs> <laughs> when she uses ice cubes <laughs> when she doesn't use her teeth <laughs> when she does that thing with her tongue <coughs> my mandem in the chat no my mandem in the chat no the real mandem they know they know what I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> oh god sorry I have to get some tissue I have to get some tissue so I have to get some tissue <coughs> oh god oh. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I had to oh god I'm leaking I'm leaking I'm leaking I'm leaking I'm leaking <sighs> Someone's leaking here as well. <coughs> <coughs> the thing that's funny about this clip as well is that think about it this way. <coughs> I had to get some fucking allergies up as well. My throat is fucking banging me. How's Brian gonna react? How's, how's he gonna react when his kid does get signed to a team? If his kid does get on the Padres, if you're crying like this because he's playing like. Where's the fucking range of emotions? Like, how far does it go up then? You're sobbing like this because your nine year old can throw a ball. Then what happens when he does get on the team? You're going to faint. You go into cardiac arrest. There has to be like a scale, like a gradient. Like, surely. Yeah, you can be emotional. Oh my God, I'm so proud of him. But like, there should be like a. No? Maybe. Maybe you cry everything. Maybe you cry everything. Go back again, one, one more. Let's go back again. <clears throat> I've done cool shit. I've done cool shit with this guy. This guy, no emotions. Kid maybe might have a million dollar contract. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We've done cool shit. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. By the way, we've done cool shit like he's trying to tell Brian, please be a good dad. Brian must be, feel so insulted in it. Like, I was with you when you were, like, going on tour to avoid your family. And we'd have some real conversations about it on the road, about how much we enjoy being on the road and having this almost arrested development thing going on where we basically get paid to be, like, adult babies. It's a great job, right, on some regards, if you like that sort of thing. Some guys don't, and some guys don't think it's, you know, it's cool. But if you are that kind of guy that doesn't really care about being a stay-at-home dad and looking after your kids and being there for your wife and being a good partner and being a good dad and a good role model, if you just want to be the provider and do your job, do your provider and go away, sign up is a good excuse because you don't have... It's almost like a built-in excuse that you have to always be on the road, you know? It's kind of an excuse already built in. Oh, babe, I've got to do sets. I've got to do sets and reps. Babe, I've got to go on the road, you know? Little does she know, you know... You're behind the bins at the comedy store, tonguing down some fucking 21-year-old Guatemalan that like, working as a barback. It is what it is. So you've got a built-in kind of excuse there. But if you're Brian, you're going to look at him like, bro, we, we were doing dirt a year ago. Now you can't sell tickets. All of a sudden, you're like, you're trying to like shame me for like not wanting to look after my kids. You don't like your kids either, nigga. You, you're only looking after them because you're not selling tickets. Nothing is better. 
It's true. Than that. It's true. Sorry. <laughs> Brian looking up to the Brian looking up to the heavens trying to find an, uh, an emotion that he relates with. Trying to pluck some sort of emotion. Trying to remember. Hold on. What am I proud of for my kids? Oh no, I missed that. Oh, missed that. Oh no, I missed that. Oh yeah, missed that as well. Missed that. Brian trying to hold on. It's true. Yeah, missed that. First steps, missed that. First words, yeah, missed that too. Mid name, don't even know it. What? What are my kids actually born? <laughs> He's trying to think of anything. He can't. Hmm. Put his head up, try and make it, try and make yourself cry. Put your head down, try and get those tear ducts down. Hmm. Emotions for your kids. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's worth crying over. Yep. It's, just it's, happy. It's, it's the only thing that, yeah. It's the only thing that gets me going, too. I thought you were going to say it's the only thing you have. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, yeah, it's the only thing you have. I get it. I'm just happy. That's amazing. Can That's you, amazing, dude. Mm, can you Talk realize you're passion. doing something right? You yeah. realize you're doing something right. Brian's trying to move on and be funny. Brian's like, Brendan's like, no, we're gonna cry. We're gonna cry. We're gonna we're gonna cry. <laughs> Brian's trying to move on. No, 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 we're gonna cry. Can That's you, amazing, dude. Mm, like, can you realize you're doing something right? Yeah. You realize you're, you're like, doing, doing something right? right? Is it dad? Yeah. <laughs> you're doing something right? Really? That's when you realize when you're playing sports. Not when he's just being a kid. Not when you hang. Only when you play sports you realize you're doing something right. Only when he's hitting a ball. Only when he's throwing a ball. Only when he's chasing after people. Getting them into real naked chokes. That's when you realize, oh, yeah, this kid's fucking... Not even just, like, saying words. He says some dumb thing. He says something sweet to you in a car. Nah, it's just all about sports. Can you realize you're doing something right? You realize you're doing something right as a dad? Yeah. (laughs) What? Everything else is so... And he's a good kid. Everything else is so hard, full of failure. But when when you got a kid like that... You know, when when you when you when you take care of your kid, you teach your kid things, and you. Watch- Brian realizing in, in real time how much he's missed. Watch them growing, and getting better. In this crazy it, world, there's no of- failure. It's like you're you're. It's all love. Yep. No, you can fail with your kids. You can fail. We've seen them. A lot of them end up in prison. Those are kids that were failed by their parents. A lot of them, like you can fail as a parent. <laughs> there's plenty of evidence out there to show. Right, and in this crazy world, like the world's on fire, and you're worried. Oh, is he gonna get into this? He's gonna get into this. Yeah, man. And what, like, when we went to San Diego, you realize Diego, it's okay when you're together. Oh yeah. You know, you, you realize that the failures and and the successes. As- Brian's talking about, again. Look how self self absorbed they are. This is a really somewhat, you know, vulnerable emotional conversation, and Brian in this instance is relating it to his counterculture thing. Yeah, you realize it doesn't really matter when you're with your family. They don't even bring up that Los Angeles Times article. They don't even mention the fact that you might have raped some women or sexually harassed someone in a fucking American apparel shop. Your kid just wants the ball. They just want the ball. You realize that they don't care about Afghanistan or like if you can, you know, take put a woman on your shoulder while you're riding a horse, while you're standing up on it, like a Dagestani or some shit. They don't even care. They don't even care that you've got all these weird facts about the Mongols that you keep repeating ad nauseum. They don't even care. It's not even like they're here. They are. F- oh, really? Really? The obvious master. Maybe spending time with your kids and not hanging around with fucking myopic, sadistic, clout chasing monsters in the comedy world might be actually quite fun. It takes your mind off the real world. People are not talking all the day about fucking likes and content and fucking engagement and podcast appearances. Oh, it's, it's quite nice to have that. Really? I didn't know. I didn't know. Thank you for letting us know that. Thank you for pointing out the obvious, brother. As long as you're with your kid, that's all that matters. The the bond that you create and watching them grow and yeah, those memories that you're creating. Best friends. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, you were- I'm going to get all up in this mic. I'm going to get all up in this black mic like Nikki Glazer gets on black dick. We were in that's San it. Diego. We're at the restaurant and T was like, oh, I need, uh, he needs some ketchup or some bullshit for his fries. I was like, yeah, go get it, dude. And some guy came over and he's like, is this your son? I'm like, yeah, man. He's like, dude, he is. I'm going to get all up in this mic like Sam Tripoli gets into a bowl of multivitamins. And by a bowl of multivitamins, I mean cocaine.
so polite. He said, please, thank you. Great? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. How's that not expected? That's yeah. not a joke either. T is so. I'm going to get all up in this mic like Chris D'Elia crowd surfing at a quinceanera. So oh, polite. Yeah. He's yep. so like anytime he's here, I'm just always. And I've told him, I've told Joanna, like, I'm so impressed by this kid. Yeah. He's not a whiner. He doesn't no. like scream for his dad. Like he. I told Joanna, oh, she's one of those girls, huh? She already tried to like. So maybe she has hung out with the kids. Maybe she has hung out with Joanna. Okay, fair enough. He gets like, wait a second. Like, yeah. He's just so. Well, Joe. Sweet. Joe doesn't take any bullshit either. She's strict, yeah. Uh, Joe's like, there's there's a way to behave, and there's no confusion about that with Joe. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, oh, that's cool. Play with your dad. There are also. Oh, what? Because she's not white. These guys, because she doesn't, I don't know, it's regular, isn't it? Somebody actually pointed out this other day about it. Um, there's a, that meme of that kid. No, it's a video of the kid um, in the stadium. Prince Harry's sitting down and the kids are eating Prince Harry's stuff. And someone made a tweet like, oh my God, man, the difference in cultures and bringing up your kid is like, yeah, that's a white kid thing. No kid of an immigrant or a migrant or a minority would ever let their kids just eat some stranger's food. Why? Like, what? So they're praising Brendan's wife because she just doesn't, you know, raise the kids like regular, which is not a bad thing. It's just a obvious thing. And it? it's like, yeah, kids don't have opinions in this house. You don't have a view. <laughs> you don't have thoughts. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have chores. You have instructions you listen to. That's it. There are no like, this isn't a fucking democracy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You live under my house, my rules. You don't like these rules? Go somewhere else. That's how you should be raising your kids, to be fair. Certain ways we behave. Yeah. And that's the way strict. it is. That's yeah, how my wife is strict. with my kids. Super there strict. are just certain things she was raised with. And you're not stepping out of those. But me, I'm Lucy Goosey guy. Not with not with my wife. I'm, 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 like, I'm Lucy Goosey in every aspect of life with that mm -hmm. stuff. And in, 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 until it comes to sports. Yeah. <laughs> Brendan trying to differentiate himself. Brendan? No, Brendan trying to differentiate himself with Brian. I'm a better dad than you. Oh, and maybe I'm really too much into it, but I just love this man. Like, if you're like, why are you doing this, to your boy, man? Even if you are a better dad than him, why are you doing this? Come on. Yep. If you're gonna do it, dude, you better fucking do it. Yep. Isn't that the wrong way to go about it? Again, I'm I'm mistaken here. But you're a failed professional athlete in Brenda. To be fair, without with the exception of USC, why would you want to push your kid? to approach sports so seriously you know like why i don't know maybe i'm i'm, I'm maybe i don't know maybe there is a okay i don't know much about i don't know much about like statistics in terms of family but uh, just making an assumption here i would say most failed and I only say he failed because he didn't do what he needed to do, what he said he wanted to do. He said he wanted to be an NFL. He didn't play for the NFL team. He said he wanted to be a champion. He didn't get close to being champion in UFC. So he's, he failed in the way. He didn't, but let's say he did. I would say there's a low, there's not a lot of, if you're, if you're a kid of a failed athlete, it doesn't work out. It usually works out when it's like, oh, your dad or mom played to a certain level. Then they went into coaching or something. It's not like they failed. It's just like, you know, they couldn't get to the next level. It's just, you know, they weren't good enough, for instance. But like not getting at all, you just, I don't know. Does that usually happen? Usually athletes are either from, from families that, do, that are athletes or just regular people. Like your dad's a fucking physicist and you happen to be good at basketball. You know, it's just, it's just an anomaly kind of thing. But then you look back enough in the history, you'll see, oh, one family, one great, great dad was a fucking swimmer. But... Yo, peace out, Ricky Pitcher. Have a good one, brother. I don't know. But I, don't, I, I just think if it was me and I was Brendan and I got burned the way he did, I would be very cautious about how I push my kid in sports. That's what I'm saying. I'd be very cautious because you, you know how hard it was for you. And he knows himself that he tried hard. He was hustling. He was doing miles, training all the time. Like He knows how hard it was for him. So if I was him, I'd be a little bit cautious about pushing your kid too hard because... You don't know if you pushed him too hard, what may happen on the other side? I put a lot of pressure on him, you know? Yeah, but look at it. It's great.
And, and what some kids and, thrive with that. He thrives. He, Tiger has to have discipline because if you give, you know, he has to have it. Yeah. Like the strict boundaries, and he just thrives with that. And his teachers say the same thing. And then, but also, and I say this too. It's like awesome. again, I have no baseball background. Played a little bit, but as far as like the the coaches stuff, it's I have no baseball background. Mm. You talk like you do though. Funny you say that, but you act like you're the coach. You act like you have all the knowledge. You do kind of act like you know everything. So it's funny that you're saying this. Dude, and again, that's why I can't leave California. And I'm sure there's other areas. Like the the network, the the families, like that little league group people, I found, right? dude. Great people. Bro. The best people. The, the, those dads. Blue collar. Bro, that's what you're meant to. And again, I know I'm being, I know I'm being a little bit of a kind of this. I understand. I understand. But I'm sorry. You don't get any points for choosing your kid's happiness over your own personal fucking gain. Red Bar even pointed out the other day. Red Bar pointed it out perfectly when, you know, Chris Stefano was on fucking Rogan and he was going on this manic fucking rant about how he made his family leave a house that they just bought because he wanted to walk to a fucking bagel shop or some shit. Like, you don't get to just uproot your family because you had a moment of fucking inspiration. That's fucking out of order. That's inconsiderate. So, yeah, great. You didn't move your kid to fucking Austin, Texas because you found a team, you found a community. That's good, but you don't get any pats on the back for that, bro. Like, that's what you should be doing. You're the fucking leader of the house. You're the leader of the household. You're the breadwinner. You should be fucking leading and looking out after, looking after for the best interests of your family, not just your own personal career. So going to fucking Austin or whatever to go do the comedy mother shit thing after you spent all this time with Brett, with Rogan in LA and you've had like, you enjoyed it. Like, relax, let him do his thing over there. If your family want to live in LA, let them live in LA. Like, don't, you know, I mean, uproot them because you just want to do fucking stand up. That's super unfair. So you don't get any pats on the back for doing the obvious and let, you know, living in LA. Because that, that's what I, I said before. When, 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 when Rogan moved to fucking Austin anyway, everyone's, oh no, they're going to move to us. Like, no, they're not. No, they're not. I don't know much about his family and shit, but for looking from the outside in, that wife, what's she going to do in Texas? That woman loves LA. She's all about that. Like, what's she going to do? In, like, she, I, I think that's probably the one time that she put her foot down, for sure. That wife definitely put her foot down. She was like, no, 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 no. I let you get away with a lot. You can do a lot. You have a lot of license to do what you want. But this is where I'm, I'm not fucking moving to Austin. I think she put her foot down. I've got a feeling. She was like, you know what? No. There's no fucking, there's no fucking, you know, where's the Chanel store over there? Is there a Chanel store over there? Do they have a, do they have a Balenciaga store over there? Like, do they have friends? Like, come on, man. And you're going to uproot your kids just so you can live to the mothership and then quit. Like, so he, he did well. Good points, but you don't get a pat on the back for this. This is an obvious good, this is an obvious thing that people would do. It's not a, you know, an accomplishment. Middle class, working people. The best. The best people, right? Uh, people dude. don't that, that's the thing working. look how they're talking about us look how they're talking about us look at them fetish fetishizing regular people <laughs> man it's just like you talk to them right and they they're quite intelligent they have quite a lot of like some of them are quite funny too it's like you patronizing cunts won you, the lottery the biggest I gift won the is lottery. that I won I was the lottery. wasn't i telling you that when watching when that to, shit in florida when you came back from florida and you, yeah and you were I like i told you i went i have that here you had that here and i was like there's nothing better than that and all the kids Because it's all family and all the kids are just like tiger god like they're all the same god. little savages god and we don't like that like this team that this all-star team that he's on they practice once a week for like three or four hours that's just once a week that's not enough so the way those kids are getting better by the dads, all of them have great dads. Wow. So, cause wow. you're gonna get left in the dust. Yeah. So do so we practice once a week and then they'll have a scrimmage or a game or a tournament coming up. But the rest of the weeks, that's why I mean Tiger, when you're like, what are you doing? I'm like, where Fucking hell, this sounds awful, bro. Imagine you're one of the dads that just wants to like hang out and shoot the shit with the other dads, have a beer, see your kids run around. And then you got all these kids, like all these dads like with their hats backwards like, oh. Imagine you're one of the dads that just, you just want to see your kid play and hang out, shoot the shit, get some content on your phone to show your wife later or share some clips with your mum. And then all you got all these guys with the fucking, with their jerseys on, come on, like, acting like they're the coach. Cringe. We're at the cages. We're like, because he's getting better. He might not have the official practice, but outside of his practice, we're working. Mm. 
And Tiger knows summer. He goes, Dad, summertime. I'm There's like, yep. More that means right? we get to work, bud. Yeah. But I, I tell him, I said, dude, you choose. And again, this isn't me pushing him. I don't. I didn't. Even... Anytime he says that, he does the opposite. So he's definitely pushing him. Like baseball before this, I'm obsessed with baseball. I was like, if you do this again. There's clips of this guy talking about baseball players and the money they make. And then soon after, Tiger's holding a baseball bat. Again, maybe it's a coincidence, but I like I don't like this like acting oblivious to the realities of what you know about baseball. You know the money's good. You know the contracts are long. You know the celebrity like the celebrity worship is not as bad as other sports. They could basically have a quote unquote normal life outside the sport, even though they're making a lot of money in the sport. It's a long career too. You can play, you know, until quite long in your in your adult years as opposed to other sports not as much impact damage we know why you'd like it so why are you lying about you know like come on bro. come on we're all in and also again it and sometimes it's gonna suck you're not gonna want to do it you're gonna see pictures and your buddies on vacations and they're at disneyland sure. and we don't we don't do that stuff exactly see th there we go big up uh just brizzy that's the sad thing about this guys even if we believe this, even if we believe all this emotion, this crying, bro's just experiencing what it's like to be a beast of a dad. Isn't that sad? The kid's only 10 years old. He's got three kids and he's just realizing the beauty of being a dad. The beauty of being a parent. The beauty of like hanging out with your kids and just loving them and paying attention to them. Spending time with them. And he's only realizing it now because he's not selling tickets and he's at home. Because if you were selling tickets, if you was on tour, if you were selling out arenas, selling out theatres, going on tour in Europe, in Europe, sorry, around the world, he wouldn't be saying this. That's the sad reality of this. If the money was low, if the money wasn't low, if he didn't have to sell his Porsche, if he didn't have to sell his Ferrari, he wouldn't be saying this. But you know, it's better than that. Doing no hitters hitting home runs like that's what he likes making it on the exactly exactly 84 Matt Nair. let's have a scale of emotions please let's have a scale of emotions it's like it's like the people that like sob when their kid fucking graduates like kindergarten like i get it but let's also have a scale of emotions what if your kid graduates high school then what you're gonna are you gonna have a cardiac arrest really because you're sobbing up like come on let's let's have a gradient if you cry nursery one tier maybe have a gradient maybe college is two maybe high school is two college is bogey you know but this guy is sobbing at nine what if he does make it well, then what dodgers yeah i mean that's yeah baseball's tough that's a long ways away yeah let's just get through this that's great season. dude i love that Nothing love hearing better. that and yeah then, that, 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 and then remember this is only this is only a 15 year window bud yeah that's why when you talk right. about appreciating the moments, you got fi basically 15, 16 years of this. Yep. Yeah, that, and it's going to be the greatest time in your life as a dad. If you put the work in, it will be the greatest thing you ever do. You have six. What happens after 16? You don't, it's not fun to be a dad anymore. So once they have their, once they start developing their own personality, and their own wants and needs suddenly it's not fun to be a dad anymore suddenly they don't they don't matter when you can't control them or, manip or manipulate them the way you want when you can't push them to do the things that you want them to do it's not fun 16 years basically till they move the fuck out you have dude, 16 dude, years to embrace this and then it deeply, goes away feeling that deeply too and caring about something it's always <laughs> what <laughs> you only care for your kids when they're under 16. Okay. It's like that. My buddy Sam um, Sheridan said that you define love in, in one way, which is somebody else's happiness is more important than your own. Yo, big up Sammy. Tiger is his new project. He'll stop play with him in a few weeks. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Big up, big up, big up Sammy Bully. Big up Sammy Bully. I just remembered something. Somebody said, I mean, it might be on the Reddit. Somebody said something like, this is his new grift, the dad thing. This is his new thing. Remember we were talking on stream, what's the new grift? And I was like, oh, he might he might become barbecue dad. 
you'll be like Traeger dad some people suggested he might get into the whole beer thing right and have his own brew his own beers and stuff you know how people are doing in the pandemic and people are making their own like beers and shit he might get into fucking making his own sourdough bread but we all didn't predict no this is the new grift the dad the tiktok dad thing he's gonna do that stuff the dad thing like, you know those dads that put like montages of them hanging with their kids with like sad music this is him this is the grift we're witnessing it now this is a new hustle <sighs> gearhead guy gone tiktok dad has been has emerged and that's what it is to have a family and kids and for that matter and what's dope family. is i'm going through this with tiger but the real baller is the little one. I was about to say. Bosti is an absolute say, there is a, fucking there's a, savage. There's a little giant waiting. There's a little guy with mitts. who's been practicing with his brother. Oh, boy. And can already hit at four. Oh, oh wow. Boston did get mentioned. Boston isn't alive. So Boston does play. He has no choice, isn't it? Because he has a sister that's a baby. So he has no choice but to play with Tiger. But Boston does play. We got a Boston, a very rare very rare Boston mention. Oh and doesn't need a T. Oh boy. So as much as T's this little monster, in my head I go, oh, I get to do this again. Oh man. Yes. Oh, wow. He's just waiting in the wings. And who knows? Maybe her daughter be big lesbian, Brenda. Hey, Softball. Hey, hey, hey. Softball. And I get to a third time. Maybe a third time. But with a chick. She might be a big. She has a mullet. Guy. There you go. Nothing wrong it's with like, that. Hey, dad. <laughs> like, hey, dad. Like, hey. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. I fart loud. So all women that play sports are lesbians. Cool. Loud and I fart hard and I fart proud. Hey, Dad, hit some doubles oh, today. Like, oh my God! There it is. Holy shit! Yep. And all lesbians talk like that. All lesbians are studs. Cool. That's it. Oh my God! Yeah. Is this? Is, can you see my bulge in these pants, Dad? Hey, Dad. I know you called me Billy. You might just call me Bill from now on. <laughs> Forty-three and fifty-year-old man. <laughs> Damn, that's you're projecting, bro. My, my, That's girl, a deep voice. my girlfriend Tiffany's taking me to practice. I don't need a ride. Hey, Brendan, how come how come Billy's got a goatee? What's yeah. going on over there? She's on hormones, man. She's on hormones. Oh, she got my TRT at seven. <laughs> she fucking stealing your. Did she found my. Are you TRT? pinching my TRT? Yeah. Uh, hey, it's just, Bill. Just bring up. We don't have to. I was gonna say bring up. Anyway, that's the that's the clip. Now we're going. Brendan get into doing being funny, but. I was co complaining earlier about him not doing more jokes. Then he does the jokes and you're like, maybe you don't do the jokes. You know, maybe, maybe keep crying. Maybe keep crying. Um, like I said, it's ultimately quite depressing because he's only realizing this because he's not selling tickets and now he's spending time at home with his kids and he's realizing the beauty of being a parent. That's the real sad thing. I'm not gonna lie that's the sad thing this guy's only realized how much his kids do matter because he doesn't have a career comedy c -c 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 comedy <laughs> oh, fucking hell